Di, you've had a couple of weeks break from the Aviva Premiership. Talk us through how you've used that time to make sure the squad are firing from the off against Worcester. Well, first and foremost, the boys had a bit of um, R&R, a bit of rest and recovery for the first week. Um, a lot of them had played a lot of rugby leading up to that and carrying a lot of bumps and bruises. Uh, and just as importantly, to, to rest up physically, obviously to rest up mentally as well. Although it was a difficult period for us, we didn't get the results that we wanted. Certainly there's a lot of mental and physical preparation gone into that, so we felt that was necessary at the time. The second week, um, we've pretty much uh, done quite a bit of work on our fitness and conditioning. And uh, on top of that, um, working on some of the aspects that we felt uh, were letting us down, um, you know, sort of that uh, period. Worked a lot on ball retention, keeping all of uh, all of the ball on our, on our kicking game being a little bit more accurate than that and our chase game to support our kicking game uh, and on set piece as well so some of the aspects we feel that was important uh, that we needed to improve on has given us pretty much two weeks uh, leading up to, to a massive game for both clubs really this weekend um, you know but we, we're looking forward to it now the boys are as I said uh, really eager uh, and looking forward to to putting some of the things that we've worked on in training into practice in game situation. And is there anything particular that you have to actually focus on when it's Worcester that you're playing? Yeah, emotion's going to be a big thing for, for them. Obviously, we've been where they are two seasons ago, so we know how much emotion they're going to carry into this game. It's been well documented that this is a real cup final for them because uh, pretty much I, I believe if they lose this game, they pretty much doomed I think uh, and that's by their own admission really if they do win this game they got a big one against Newcastle which will put them back in the mix I think that's their thought process so certainly we're going to have to match their emotion their desire early doors um, and you know put them under pressure you know once we've uh, you know once we've ma- more than matched that and in your mind is the top six still attainable for what? Yeah I think you know coming into this season my focus hasn't changed and maybe accused have been slightly negative but I think it's uh, it's more of a case of being realistic. I've, I've always said I didn't feel we were a top five team and I still maintain that uh, and the highest position I felt we could get this year was sixth um, but in saying that a month ago we were in a much better position than, than we are now uh, on the back of something like nine out of eleven victories uh, we were looking pretty good and, but we've lost four on a bounce now which has been hugely disappointing. What that has left us is obviously um, under pressure to get into that uh, top six now. We probably need somebody to do us a favour, really. But, you know, if we can keep the pressure on and um, and get as many points as we can between now and the end of the season, who knows? But we certainly got the focus and the desire and, and the attitude to give it our best shot and, and hopefully it'll be good enough come, come the end of the season.